Hi guys, this is Alana and you are listening to the Praying Christian Women podcast with me and Jamie Hampton. How's stuff going, Jamie? It's going well, going well. Tell yeah. us about your weekend, anything fun or big? Well, we have this bathroom project that never ends that we've been working on and we hit it hard this weekend. My mm-hmm. husband and I kind of like had feral children. Like we just yeah. <laughs> go outside and play, go mm-hmm. play some video games, go do this yep. and that. Yeah. So we, um, we got a lot done and we are really Good. seeing the end in sight. Like we are thinking that probably in the next couple of weeks we'll be totally like by the, by tomorrow we might have a functioning toilet and a functioning sink, you know, and have our vanity out of our, so the funny thing is we realized that it had been, we, my husband found a receipt for one of our, um, fixtures for the sink. Mm -hmm. And we realized it's been three years since we started this project. It's been, yeah. Cause it was way before the earthquake and then the earthquake's already like a year and a half ago. Yeah. Right. And the earthquake stalled it because we had gotten, you know, like we had put some of the tile in that survived the earthquake, which was good. But, um, but yeah, we, we didn't, I just didn't realize it had been quite that long. And so, Mm -hmm. yeah, we kind of, the earthquake Mm -hmm. stalled it for a while and we really started getting back into it the last few months. And, um, but yeah, it's kind of funny to see in my daughter, I didn't even think about this, but our daughter was three when yeah. we started all of this. And so she doesn't, she hardly remembers. She doesn't remember. Like yeah. Not to have a vanity sitting in our bedroom, you know? Uh huh. So, yeah. That's but, funny. Yeah. But my husband. Well, that's exciting that you're really making good, good job. progress. Oh yeah. It's, it's really, the end is in sight now. And I'm just, my husband has done a great job with like all of the details and the yeah things that I would have no idea what to do. Yeah. Well, I'm and this is kind of and helper. Yeah. This is sort of like your guys' equivalent of quality time too, in a way, right? It has been like, it's been yeah. really, it was, I remember when we first started, even it was just interacting in a different way. Mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. we normally interact and having something that was ours and like yeah. at the end of the day, we could be proud of it. It's been a really That's neat cool. Thing. Yeah. It's been fun for Me. both of us, I think. Well, I should backtrack uh, because he'll been- never do another, another <laughs> project of this, you know, to this extent, uh-huh. but I, it's been fun for both of us though. It really has. That's cool. Other That's than the cool. not fun parts. Well, right. Granted. <laughs> <laughs> How about you guys? How was your weekend? It was good. What'd we do? We've been on some walks. We've been walking the neighborhood and we got the puppy, like this kind of no pull harness that she does really well on. So that's helpful for sure. And really that's about it. Like there's nothing, there's nothing too new. Like the only thing that kind of differentiates Sunday from the rest of the week is like that 45 minutes where we're on Facebook you know, watching church on Facebook. Right. But, uh, no, things are good. Oh, we, we pulled the barbecue out. We did our first grill night a couple nights ago. Oh, and that's good. always fun. Cause you know, Scott mans the grill and the rest of us are just in the backyard playing with the dogs. We taught the dogs. So basically like the two dogs and my youngest son and I like cooperatively created a backyard game. So we take one of the dog toys that they like to fetch with and we take this kind of like, it's almost like a, um, like a ninja, I don't know what you'd call it, like a kind of a ninja sword, but it's basically just like foam, you know, that you can kind of play Uh fence with. And so I, I throw the fetch ball, my son hits it like it's a baseball with this ninja sword thing. And then he's got to run to the porch before the dogs get the ball and bring it to the porch. And like, it, it just kind of worked. I mean, obviously we can't sit the dogs down and explain the game to them, but it just kind of like turned into this fun thing. That's, so that's fun. Cool. So, mm-hmm. and it's triple bonus because you've got both dogs getting worn out and your youngest and the kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's neat. And let's see, we have neighbors who live uh, maybe like half a mile away and sometimes we'll see their kids while we're out on walks. And so our kids have gotten to, at the very least, like say hi and have like a, you know, a 10 minute little social distancing play date. So that's That's kind of fun. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So things are going well here. It's been nice weather and just quiet and same old, same old, but same old's not too bad. No. Yeah. We've had a nice spring. We've definitely had a nice spring here. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
How many more weeks of school do your kids have? Is it winding down? I was just wondering myself. I don't remember. I don't actually know. I have no clue. Um, They'll be done when they're done. Well, I mean, I just have this idea that this is just the way things are going to be, but there is an end in sight. I'm sure it's the next couple of weeks, Um, Mm -hmm. but I I can't can't be sure. (laughs) I know it's hilarious. Today, we're going over to get their belongings, the teachers. So I have a couple of neighbors that are teachers and, Mm -hmm. uh, well- several that are teachers. One is a, an office, um, Mm -hmm. manager. And Mm -hmm. I was talking to two of them the other day and I just had no idea the extent of what goes into getting the kids belongings, like from the school, packing them up and Mm -hmm. getting them because Mm -hmm. everything had been kind of like closed up for the year. Like the, I guess, desks had been moved and mm-hmm. all the stuff had been kind of piled up together by janitorial staff or volunteers. Oh, I don't know. Uh-huh. And, um, and so at this point they had to go through all the stuff. Some of the kids had left backpacks. Some of the kids had left, you know, stuff in their desks that had to be cleaned uh-huh. out and mm-hmm. they had to sort out what was personal belongings versus which belonged to the classroom. And I mean, it's oh, just wow. a fiasco and they, the teachers have just handled it wonderfully. So they've got this whole system where you go in and just drive up. It's like a drive through. You drive up, really? you have a sign mm-hmm. where you have your kid's name and wow. teacher, and they show you where to go and you pick up and leave with no contact. Yeah, it's actually that's, cool. that's good organization. It is. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. but they're just these things, you know, I have a friend who is a teacher who I think I said something about her at one point too, that she's a teacher of um, special ed she's Mm -hmm. a mom of a special needs child Mm -hmm. that needs a lot of help with his schoolwork and so she's like trying to create a curriculum she's helping him and Mm -hmm. I don't know I just there are a lot of people that my hat goes off to (laughs) sure that's it I just there are a lot of people that are doing a lot of stuff right now to make I get yeah yeah I get the feeling that people are either like insanely busy or not busy at all. And I don't I feel like accurate. there's much in between, you know, you're either really, really bored or really, really stressed. <laughs> no, I think that's true. I think yeah. that's definitely true. Mm-hmm. Um, and I see emotions kind of running high lately. And I know that, I so. you know, it's, things are getting more political too. It is. And that's unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing, you know, I, I've seen a few postings about like adopt a senior and stuff like that. I mean, seniors mm-hmm. in high school to try and celebrate oh, okay. the seniors mm-hmm. that are graduating this year and, mm-hmm. you know, the things that they're, that they're going to be missing out on, but yeah. they'll certainly not forget. <laughs> they'll never forget no their kidding. senior year. Can you imagine though, like, their fifth or 10 year reunion. Do you know what I mean? Cause mm-hmm. how many people aren't going to be with their class ever again? Right. You know, and it's, yeah, yeah it's kind of crazy to think about. It is. There have been some cute pictures on social media of kids getting dressed up for prom. Have you seen some of those yes. like dancing with their kid s- mm-hmm. siblings or their parents? That's pretty cute. Or it I is. saw one. It was very cute. So the guy's in the tux and he's standing on the lawn over here. And then like 10 feet away, the girl's in her dress and she's standing over here. But they're kind of posed, you know, like the typical prom pose where they're like <laughs> – back to not back to back but like his arms are around her and you know it's kind of like side to side but they're doing it you know 10 feet apart it was pretty cute that's cute yeah yeah that's mm-hmm. been fun to see just some of the creative things and like birthday parties I saw a few people you know when their kids have birthdays they'll have little parades going through the mm-hmm. neighborhoods and stuff so yeah yeah I know of a couple people who have gotten married um, have you because you know, I was wondering yes. my cousin got married um, just before all this happened and actually oh, really? several people couldn't make it to their wedding because of travel restrictions or okay. um, voluntary yes. travel, yeah. not restrictions yeah. at that point, but like mm-hmm. a week the after they got married, yeah. Yeah. it was done. Like they were, so they just eked in. I didn't, I haven't known anyone to actually. Yeah. So like I know of, um, most of it's like friends of friends, but I know of one couple where basically they just did a, a really small ceremony, at, with the bride's family and that was it and then I know of like I have a Facebook friend who attended a zoom wedding and it was for a couple in their neighborhood 
And so after the Zoom ceremony, the couple, like, I don't know if they drove or walked, but basically like they, they walked around the neighborhood or drove around the neighborhood and their neighbors, you know, toasted them or things like that. Oh, that's so, really yeah, cool. Yeah, part of a couple things. Um, yeah, just interesting to hear how these different kind of uh, people and industries and, you know, how, how things are being handled. Yeah. Well, and I have an uncle who passed just before mm -hmm. COVID happened a few weeks before. And there was a, um, like a kind of a, like a celebration of life that was scheduled mm -hmm. that had to be canceled. And, you know, my aunt yeah. is in a position of, I've been just thinking a lot about people that have to grieve during this time and mm -hmm. how this open-ended grieving, you know, yeah. it's just, that's, that's another thing where, it's just a little bit different and yeah, it's a lot different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Are your kids feeling okay? Like nobody's crazy disappointed about not seeing their friends again this school year or anything They're, You know, they've made, they've made comments. My oldest mm -hmm. actually today, he said, I should be, I should be sad and depressed because I'm not seeing my friends, but I get mm -hmm. to see you every day, mom. So I'm that's happy. Really I was like, oh my goodness. Like that that's very my sweet. whole week. Yeah. yeah. So he, they've been upbeat and I mean, they, I, they, I definitely, I know would love to see their friends and they're mm -hmm. all three of them like, you know, being social, but I think all three of them have like my daughter had a little zoom did I say this already? Her Zoom play date. Did I talk about this? With a cousin or, or oh, something like that. She did it like with that. her cousin. Yeah, okay. she had one with her cousin. Mm -hmm. But then this last, I think it was Friday maybe, she had one with our neighbor down the road that mm -hmm. used to come to her house in the mornings. And Cute. Watch oh, them yes. Play. I think it was just like they were playing together. Like they could, it was Cute. just really fun to see. So yeah, it's, I think those kinds of things actually mm -hmm. are good. Um and they've never, you know, I, I don't think they've ever played as many electronics as they have during this break. Mm -hmm. I've almost, it's almost mm -hmm. become like a, I don't know, like a, a reward or kind of a yeah. consolation. Yeah. And I think mm -hmm. that's been kind of fun for them being like, wow. Yeah. And we've been staying up a little bit late sometimes. Okay. Kind of know, have a like letting vacation them feel or, or, or I mm -hmm. think that's kind of it. And we're doing it, similar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it kind of feels like there are some rewards Perks. that they yeah. haven't had before that make it a little more fun. Exactly. Yeah. Very similar to how yeah. it feels over here. Although it's cute. Our our son and your kids have been having a lot of fun on their little video game. That little game is fun. They've yeah. enjoyed that. Yeah. Creating the worlds and fighting the Guys I have no idea whatever. what they're doing. I, I just know. know they're having fun together. Gathering, <laughs> gathering supplies. Yeah. 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 Having it's fun a really to hear good them. Time. And it's cute because so like he'll have Zoom open, but it's, you know, the games over the computer and he feels like he's got to shout. And so he's like shouting super loud to your kids. Like you can talk in a normal voice. I'll still hear you. I feel like mine <laughs> probably are the same. Cause I, mm -hmm. I don't know if they shout or not, but then I have yeah. multiple kids doing it. So I'll hear the mm -hmm. echo through that. Like, Oh, of all of their, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I'll hear the echo of one and then the echo That's of the funny. other. Yeah. It's pretty funny, but they're having That's a good time. It is. It's cool. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let me pull up our just for fun question. Um, <laughs> Ooh, let's bring it down, Jamie. Okay. <laughs> I'm game. If, if you knew you'd be sick for the next three weeks, what would you do right now? So basically like what's oh, yeah. today, Monday. So on Wednesday, you're going to be sick with COVID and you're going to be sick for three weeks. What do you do? I would go to the store because I'm, I would go to Costco and stock up. I would probably fix meals and freeze them and, or get stuff that's mm -hmm. easily fixable mm -hmm. by the rest mm -hmm. of the family. Um, I would uh, stock up on, you know, whatever medicine and things, you know, sick food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see. I would try to clean the house probably and make sure that it was like at least in a position to be, I don't know, to unravel. Maybe I see again. <laughs> to be, yeah, right. Um, 
Yeah. I guess that's, that's most of what I do. Um, but are you thinking more like, what would you do that you wouldn't be able to do for those three weeks that you no, would enjoy no, doing? No, it was just, no, no that's what I would do. I would just practically would. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and I would probably, I would probably, um, figure out a really good system for not getting everybody else sick. Although if I'm yeah. actually going to be sick, I probably have already gotten everyone else sick. So probably doesn't matter. Well, then you shouldn't be going to Costco. So yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'd send my husband to Costco, who's Sorry. probably also a carrier. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, how about you? Yeah. Uh, similar, I think I would for sure, like, make it so that Scott and I had a formal plan for if he and I were both totally out of commission, like, if we both have to be hospitalized, like, we right. don't have That's an official true. plan, like, yeah. you know, who's going to take care of the kids, things mm -hmm. like that. I would do that. And then in addition to, you know, like all the things you said, I'd, um, I'd probably just like go in and make sure that things, bills were set to get paid on time. Do you know what oh, I mean? Like, see, kind of double check that, mm -hmm. you know, just so that when everything comes due, if I'm still not feeling well, like, basically, I try to get myself a month you know, a month ahead of just whatever would need to get paid off or whatever, um, get those things scheduled and stuff like that. So, yeah. Well, let's jump into our scripture for the day. We're done with our COVID devotional, which is totally crazy. Um, is. We went through 14 days. And so I just thought today, I was just thinking um, in our we have a Facebook group. For those of you that don't know, we have a private Facebook group called the Praying Christian Women Community. So you can get on there and join. We basically, we have a regular Take 10 Tuesday where I get on and do um, different prayer each week. So we follow the ACTS method of prayer. So the first Tuesday of the month, we do A for adoration or praise. And that's going to be tomorrow. The second Tuesday of the month, we have C is confession. The third Tuesday is T for Thanksgiving. And the, la the fourth is um, S for supplication. And then our fifth Tuesday is a wild card. If we do have a fifth Tuesday, mm -hmm. we just choose something like we've prayed through the headlines. We've um, prayed for different issues that were on people's hearts. So yeah, it's just, it's kind of a fun time to come together. So if you want to go and check that out, you can. But I was thinking since this week is praise or adoration, my very favorite psalm of praise is Psalm 19. I think because you and I, Alana, both are mm -hmm. like science geeks. Right, right. And I just love to see science point to God in every mm -hmm. way. And so mm -hmm. I love Psalm 19. So I just thought we would read through this and just, you know, as you're reading through it, just praise God for who he is. And this psalm is full of that. So let's do it. Let's do it. This is from the NIV. Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the end of the world. In the heavens, God has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is deprived of its warmth. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. By them your servant is warned. In keeping them there is great reward. But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Um, and I just think this is so neat because it starts off with praise. And at the end, it just kind of um, launches into this awareness of God's um, precepts and his laws and how pure mm -hmm. and good they are. But, right. then it, but then it spurs the psalmist into this um, 
like repentance. And I just love that. And I think during this time, I think that this time when there's so many things that can be frustrating or, um, I don't know, difficult on, mm -hmm. on different levels, whether it's just being mm -hmm. irritated with the situation or, or going through really grave, difficult times. Right. I, I always find that just focusing on who God is and praising, it just, it, it makes all that other stuff just kind of fall away, you know, and not Absolutely. to minimize it, but it, right. it, but it does help put it in perspective for sure. Yeah. And just to remember God's, God's bigger than all of this. And Hey, when else has anybody alive today been able to worship God through a pandemic? You know, I mean, this is yeah. kind of a first for just about everybody, mm -hmm. at least on this scale. So awesome. I know you got to run, but it's fun to see you again and chat. And yeah, now that we're done with COVID devotions, we'll have to decide kind of on format of the show and things like that but i as always love getting on and recording with you yeah me too and as listeners you all um email us send us an email at connect mm -hmm. at prayingchristianwomen.com or hop on our face facebook group and i'm going to be putting a poll up just to see what you would like to see next if you want us to yeah. you know we're, we'll we could go back into kind of our pre-COVID format. We could mm -hmm. keep up the conversational things. We could do a little bit of both. We could even, you know, we could even start syndicating that sitcom that we were talking about, you know, as a radio I, drama. <laughs> I am game. I am game. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good afternoon, Jamie right. and everybody else listening. Have a good whatever part of day or night you're in, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.